Hi, my name is Judy Martin. Um, welcome to my video and my demonstration of uh, my interpretation of a nice breaker that I would um, probably utilize in a setting. For an example, if I were to run a, a facilitate, excuse me, a um, for instance, a women's wellness uh, support group. Uh, this is the type of icebreaker I would use just to, um, you know, promote a little bit of comfortability and openness um, within my group before we were to jump into um, any of the other initial stages that we would uh, start with in a group process. So I'm going to introduce my, um, my icebreaker. I uh, named it We Are Not Alone. And so the main um material it's you know it's easy it's um they're fairly cheap to get all you need is a ball of yarn and uh, usually something that you're probably laying around the house um, it's pretty versatile um, you can use um, you can i guess you could use thread too depending on the size of your group but if i were facilitating a group let's say of a group of you know eight or ten people I'd say this would probably be um, a good um, a good tool for me to use uh, to utilize uh, sorry to execute my icebreaker so um, like I said um, I named this icebreaker we are not alone and so for me to uh, use this icebreaker I would have a formation of my group um, within a circular uh, formation uh, whether we're all facing each other or sitting each other um, this is fairly light uh, so this would be something that would be e easily passable um, within the group members so I'm just going to demonstrate the um, this icebreaker so like I said all you need is a ball of yarn and so the significance behind the we are not alone is we're going to just knot this onto my finger and so I'm tied to it, I'm connected to this ball of yarn. And so um, I have chosen three specific questions uh, for this exercise and like I said it's a pretty uh, versatile exercise. You could ask any type of questions you uh, you would like, you know, as many questions as you want, but I just wanted to keep it to minimal just to kind of get the floor um, open and uh, get a little bit of uh, sharing going within the group. So. I would start off by saying my name, you know, my name is Judy Martin and um, um, a unique uh, personal tidbit is I have five cats, I love cats and so the significance of yarn again comes into play for me. And the third question, um, third question to what my expectation would be um, is I'm hoping to uh, gain a little bit more um, understanding of everyone here and I'm looking forward to uh, gaining a new experience, a new group experience as every group and um, um, every event that comes to light, people that come into your life, um, whether it's professional or personal, is always a new experience, a new teaching life lesson. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, so that would be the first part of the icebreaker. So like I said, you tie it onto your finger, you answer the specified questions and you can have this written out on the bulletin board. You can have it written down on a piece of paper for everyone to see. Then I would, um, you know, pass it on to the person across from me um, standing or whether they're standing or sitting. So you would pass it on to the person and then they would introduce themselves um, with the three questions I specified, the name, the personal unique uh, tidbit and their expectation. So they would go out uh, and say those three things and then of course by then they would have the, the finger knotted with the, uh, with the yarn and then they would proceed to pass that on to the next person across them till we have gone through the whole entire group and then we are left um, with a web. So, and so we are all connected. So when we look and we're, we're all done this exercise, we'll be able to see that as a group, we're all interconnected. So that's what this ball of yarn um, symbolizes within our group, is the interconnectedness that we have uh, within our group process. And um, so the reason why I chose that 
um, this specific icebreaker. I feel like it's a pretty adaptable and versatile exercise that could be geared to any age, um, any group population. And um, it's fairly easy. You could use it inside, outside. Um, it's fairly inexpensive. I think a ball of yarn, you can get maybe like a dollar. You probably have some laying around the house. Um, like and like I said, you could do it at the table. You know, you could pass it down the table. It's round and it's made. It's perfect for that. Or like I said, you can easily pass it. It's not harmful. It's light, and so that's one of the main reasons why I chose. Um, I gave this a lot of thought. So and I really liked how when the, once the activity is done, that you look around and everyone just takes a minute just to reflect on how we all might have our uniqueness, whether it's different names, um, our personal information that, uh, or, or sorry, our personal unique tidbit that we gave, while those might all vary, um, we, are inter we are connected um, through the act of being here today and seeking that support, seeking that um, therapeutic um, healing process to begin. And I find that's one of the main things that I always walk away from when I've ever been in a part of a group myself and I think that's a fairly important one and so not only does it establish that um, foundation of connectedness amongst our group it promotes um, an openness and a sharing an opportunity for sharing amongst the group members and it establishes that sense of trust uh, within the group leader and the participants and I think that's really important um, to have that before we jump into any um, further uh, with the uh, the steps in the group process so I feel like this is would be an excellent opener um, to begin your group before we jump in to establish any group norms or discuss um, and like I said with the expectations with the third question it actually is an opportunity to open up any um, maybe apprehensions or fears or uncertainties uh, participants may have in a group um, so that kind of opens the floor for that discussion as well once we've done that exercise you know and we put the ball of yarn away that's something that we could uh, that could be discussed um, so I think that is a very uh, crucial step in the process of getting uh, a group going. And um, so yes, yeah, so like I said, that's, that's my icebreaker is the ball of yarn. You tie it onto your finger, you share a little bit about yourself, your expectation, maybe your fear, pass it along. Once we're all done, we're, at the end of the day, we're all connected. You know, and uh, whether we've all come here for different reasons, we all um, come for the same commonality of looking for support and uh, for to start our healing journey. Um, whether we've come from different backgrounds or different situations, life has brought us here today, and so that healing pr um, process is able to start within that group. So, although it may seem like a simple. Um, very simple task it implicates huge um, the impact of how sharing opens up that doorway and um, hearing somebody else say something that might be relevant to what you've been going through or what's going on kind of opens up that um, kind of opens up the floor and shows our, com our commonality um, in our struggles. Even though they might vary, we're still going through something, but we all made it here today. And by talking and sharing with the help of this little ball of yarn, it's going to start that engine um, to get the discussion going, um, to promote the healing, um, sharing, and uh, develop that trust amongst all the participants that are here in that group setting. So, um, that's what I wanted to share with today. Like I said, it's a simple little item, but it has huge impact. And um, I think it's um, the perfect tool to use in any setting. And um, I think down the road, if I ever get a chance to um, uh, run a group myself, I think that'll definitely be something that I would like to try. And um, 
So I think that's it uh, for now. And I hope you enjoyed the uh, simplicity, um, but the strength of what this ball of yarn and what the connectedness um, symbolizes amongst um, the people that will be a part of that group that are holding a piece of that web. It offers a connectedness and it symbolizes our commonality in seeking the support and beginning our journey of healing within that group setting. So um, thank you very much and um, um, I think that's all I have to say. All right, thank you very much and I hope you enjoyed the video um, and uh, take care.